it's no surprise by now that rescue ace is the leading deck of the format if not the best deck of the format taking up 12 spots out of 32 in a format as diverse as this is pretty insane now in the last video i told you guys even though there is 12 different rescue ace decks every version of rescue ace actually did well on their own so in this video we're going to talk about what rescue ace version is the best one now i know i made a combo video talking about what the best one was pre age of the overlords but what now with the new information that we have now from ycs indie i'm able to make a more informed uh, decision even after like testing a few games with each and every one of these builds i think i got something cooked up and uh, maybe it's no surprise to most of you guys by now but uh, i do want to show you guys my thoughts on why i think this version is the best one and maybe it'll help you out for future events if you're thinking of playing rescue ace but you're not sure exactly which version to play so let's go ahead and go dive through all of them first and i'll tell you guys my pros and my cons about uh, all of them and then tell you guys why i think this specific version would be the best one all right so the first one we have here is the logan johnson version right so this is the version that got second place at the ycs now the thing about this version as you guys can see is it's primarily uh focused on jet synchron right this is the core of the deck this is what the deck is trying to do it is a jet synchron deck um in the sense that its end board is revolving around jet synchron right in using a uh, baron de floor and using borrow savage so let's talk about the pros of this version right so the pros of this version is that you get to set up baron and savage before you resolve your turbulence to protect you from infinite impermanence or effect veiler and those type of cards when you're going first which seems pretty good right because you want to obviously resolve your turbulence uh, through different uh, types of hand traps and then still set up your full combo right and that's i think the main pro of the entire deck right because uh, the next thing i'm going to talk about is the cons right so what are the cons it requires a brick in the deck as i mentioned before in some of my previous videos you need to play jet synchron and you also need to play some of the packages um for uh, the jet synchrons right so you need the extra deck cards which is baron and savage so it takes up a few extra deck slots it takes up a brick slot in the main deck and the last point about jet synchron that is a con for me is that it is a two card combo to get jet synchron to work a single airlifter does not accomplish the job and a single sinful spoils does not accomplish the job you kind of need these cards uh, in conjunction together to even resolve this type of combo and i think it makes a lot of sense right i mean the combo is really strong it lets you put up a omni negate before you actually play so i think it should come with the price tag of at least needing two cards rather than one or else i would think this combo is the best uh rescue ace combo right so that's the one thing that i just don't like about this uh version of the deck is that i think its pros do outweigh i mean its cons do outweighs its pros right so i mentioned this in one of my previous videos before too but i'll mention it again the whole point of rescue ace and the reason why i think it's a top contending deck is because it's able to play off of one card and it's the reason why the sinful spoils package has been really popular and it, and honestly one of the um, key factors of making the deck meta and tier one right is because you get now you can now play with one card but with jet you're pretty much reverting back to the old style of rescue ace where you need to open two cards to get this to resolve on top of that you're playing a brick in your deck so i don't really like this type of strategy so the point of this uh combo and i guess to sum it all down you know a tldr it's very strong right it has the strong aspect but it's not consistent so that is a major flaw of this uh, version. And the main point of Rescue Ace, I don't think is its power necessarily, but it's consistency, right? Power is great too, but I want to focus more on consistency. And this, this version just does not provide that for us. But I do understand why Logan Johnson would play. He's an amazing player. So, you know, no this to him. This is just my opinion because we're trying to evaluate what version of Rescue Ace is the best deck, right? And I honestly, I think they're all good. It's just, you know, you have to kind of nitpick which one is a little bit better than the other one. And those are my issues um, with the Jet Synchron. All right, so next up we have Steven Santoli here, our winner and our YCS champion if you guys watch the feature match this guy almost lost uh, because he I think racked up a bunch of procedural errors but it was clear that he should have been the champion anyway so huge congrats to him and then like i said guys just to reiterate i don't think any of these builds from these players are bad at all we're just trying to find out what's a little bit better than the other just because a version is better does not mean one other version is uh, you know bad they could both be good but some some other versions can be a little bit better than not right so 
again i had to say that before i dive into this uh deck because i am gonna drop maybe a hot take for some of you guys but i do think steven's version is the worst version out of the three now again not to say it's a bad version i just don't think it's that great so the the point of this deck in particular is it's a very standard deck right so it doesn't do uh, a lot of things that the other decks does in putting omni negates before you summon turbulence for example right and this version is the uh firewall version right so in my last video of rest you is talking about all the combos and things like that i mentioned that the dark fluid uh, uh firewall the new guy was going to be the best a combo into this event right and originally i did think that but after further inspection i realized that this combo loses to too many things right so one of the pros that this combo has and i've said it before in the last video is that it does not require you to play a brick and it only requires you to play extra deck space however as you guys can see this takes up one two three four five six seven slots in the extra deck to play now originally i thought it would be you know oh that's free rest race has so much space but i do think at some point in a long tournament that's going to actually catch up to you when you want to play other tech uh cards into the extra deck but you don't have that versatility of doing so right and number two while the new firewall uh, dark fluid is really good it's not an omni negate right so that's one of the things that's a bit concerning right because when you summon the dark fluid you you're able to send the cybers uh dievas of a worm or however you want to call it and essentially it negates a spell and trap so as you guys, as you guys can see in the finals of the ycs you guys can actually go watch that on stream um steven actually made his dark fluid monster and he got popped by pancratops right and uh, if that was baron or savage you know that would have been you know a, a little bit better and in the same sense you know, i mean that's just one example but in the same sense if you're playing against decks like tier Lament, who pushes your board in with a bunch of monster effects you really want a omni negate there rather than a, a spell and trap negate while it is still very good it takes up a lot of extra deck space and it's not that strong, right? So the thing about uh, finding the right rest ace combo is you need the bridge of something strong enough, but also consistent enough, right? So with the Jet Synchron, it's very strong, not consistent. This build is very consistent, not strong at all, right? So we have two ends of the spectrum, uh, but I do think, honestly, if you're gonna pick one to play over the other, I would actually just play the Jet Synchron version just because this version is, um, it's just not uh, that, like i said it's it's not strong but that actually catches up to you really uh really quick because if you're going first with this deck you're constantly just going to get your board broken and that really sucks right and i know you obviously won the ycs so you you guys are probably going to comment oh no that's not true he won the ycs his board must have been good but i i've tested a few games and you know i i'm not i don't know how his tournament experience uh went but i just don't think it's that great of a, a deck right and, and honestly you guys can make your own opinion um you know based on my information but that's uh from my testing and i'm telling you guys that this version is probably not the best version right but honestly um that's up for you guys to decide so let's go ahead and look at the last version which is my favorite version i think the best version going forward right and this is by logan kite he went 11-0 in swiss and he also had another friend who played an almost similar list to him and on um and did extremely well um also right so this proves that this list was also piloted by multiple people and it did extremely extremely uh well and this has been a build that i just started testing this week and i knew about it before the ycs and i just did not uh regard this deck at all because i saw two bricks in the deck um but with further inspection i was definitely proven uh wrong right so in this combo it is the infernoble arms durando combo with the infernoble knight ricardo right so as you guys can see i showed this case in one of my last videos but you guys can watch how the combo works from nesh actually uh, so just go over to nesh's youtube channel and he has a great demonstration of how this combo works if you guys don't know how this combo works i don't want to show it to you guys and take credit for that so go ahead and uh, go over to his channel for that right so let's talk about this version right so i think in terms of consistency as you can see this deck this deck is very consistent it honestly checks off a lot of the boxes he's still playing fenrir in the deck which if you brick is a really strong card to brick with also with the multiple copies of dark witch which i extremely like about this build and at the same time the bricks sort of say in this deck 
especially with Infernoble Arms, Durandal is actually a starter in a sense in that you can grab a level 5 or lower fire monster uh, from your deck to your hand. So while it's not the best way to start, these cards actually have some usages outside of Jet Synchron, which doesn't do anything at all. Think of these cards as like the Melfi cards in Sprite, right? So the Melfi cards are sort of like bricks, but at least they're level 2s to, you know, at least normal summit and special summon out your blues or your jets. So technically, they're not really bricks, but you would kind of prefer them in the deck to go search them out right um so at the same time so it's a little bit inconsistent there but it's not as inconsistent as jet synchron because they do have its usage now let's talk about the power aspect because as we can already establish it's extremely consistent in terms of its power what this deck is trying to do and what it's aiming to go for is it plays through a lot of hand traps because whenever you finish getting hand trapped you're able to turn your monsters into ice sold and ice sold can go ahead and send the durandal to summon the ricardo and then you can finish off your board right so it does the exact same thing of what jet synchron is trying to accomplish Accomplish in playing through multiple hand traps at the same time the bricks are actually not that um powerful um or not that bad i would say in this deck and then number three you're able to set a baron with sp and also with this combo you could just search follow up which is something that jet synchro cannot do because the uh i sold funny enough can actually search an impulse which would you know either be a disruption or a follow-up piece and if you already have the impulse you could also search airlifter too because it's also a warrior so you can go ahead and keep going um with this um combo right this combo in the sense that it's very consistent uh, in the ways that the bricks are actually not that much of a brick and then the ice sold in, in case you get hand trap and things like that you're able to guarantee play next turn with the impulse or the airlifter and also have more layers of interruption through cards such as like dark ruler for example or like triple tactics talents because you have the impulse to be able to summon like a preventer from the deck to be able to like disrupt even more right and then at the same time you get a baron to protect uh, your board as well uh, on top of uh, what uh, the dark fluid and the borlo and the jet synchron is trying to do because those cards are trying to stop harpies and evenly and lightning storm and with the baron you're able to do that as well right so that'll be it for this one guys i wanted to show you guys three different builds of rescuers and talk about all of them and these are mainly three different builds i think that topped the event i don't think there's any other build that topped uh, this event so if you guys are planning to go to your next uh, event I, and you guys want to pick up rescuers i highly suggest you guys to play the infernoble arms during though contrary to what i said in my last videos you know things are always changing and stuff like that so i do think this infernoble arms after further inspection after actually play testing hands-on myself i would say this infernoble package was extremely good for me and extremely uh, powerful um so rescue ace is a confusing deck to build right now i think people are lost on the versions of your of uh rescue ace that you're trying to build so i hope this video uh helps you guys deciding which version you guys want to play right and even if you guys don't uh, want to play this infernoble version you guys can probably get some information on how to play you know if you guys think stentoli's deck is good if you guys think uh, logan johnson's deck is good you guys are feel feel free to play that on your own they're all not bad decks it's just i think this one might be a little bit uh, better right so if you guys made it this far like comment subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one